Running a mobile phone business is a very different world to building a website, especially if the web app is a new idea. If you want to build a cool web experience, then you need some web guys who know their stuff, which is why we're here at the Moo Studio in Shoreditch, London. One of the companies here are called GoFreeRange, and they're a group of web developers. GoFreeRange are a software development company uh, made up of like-minded individuals uh, building software for the web. Hashboo is a, a website which allows users to store their text messages online. Um, and on top of that we've built a few additional features such as contacts and favouriting and grouping of these messages. One of the key things that we've done is we've created conversations. So instead of it just being a, a bank of all of their text messages, we've grouped them together in conversations so people can see and follow the history of that and quickly reply and, and have these conversations in real time. We've built Hashblue mainly with standard web technologies. We've used Apache as the web server. We've used Rails as the main framework to do the heavy lifting. The interesting choice we've made is rather than using a traditional relational database, we're using MongoDB instead. MongoDB will let us change the information that we store easily and help us scale the website. So working with O2 has been really refreshing. One of the things that they've enabled us to do is work in a, in a startup fashion. It's been a lot more of a discussion between us and we've worked with O2's customers, O2 themselves and within our team to continually refine and, and, and build a product together um, in, an, in an agile fashion really. So one of the uh, things that O2 asked us to do was build an API for Hashblue uh, so that other people could take the information that we had and build their own tools on top of it so they weren't restricted by what we could build or what we could imagine. So in order to make sure that we built a good API that was going to be useful, uh, we decided that we should be the first consumers of it. So instead of just building something without really understanding what other developers would need uh, for it to be useful, we built the Hashblue website on top of the API. So we were driving everything that needed to be added to the API. It came from a requirement from a real application. What I really like about it is it's so easy to get going. Literally all you have to do is gem install Hashblue API that goes off and installs the Ruby gem, uh, which is a wrapper around the REST APIs. So super simple, takes about five seconds to get going. And once that's installed, uh, literally two lines of code, and I can pull down my SMS messages. So what we're doing with Bluevia is turning the network into a platform. We're exposing our assets in the forms of easy to use APIs. Developers can take these APIs, think of them as ingredients that they can then take and, and bake their own cake to create products and services that run on our network that we wouldn't have been able to come up with ourselves. So the early adopter community is really important to us. We really want to give a kind of unique resource to developers working with us in the Bluevia program. Uh, give them a, a kind of resource where they can bounce ideas off real customers, test and prototype new software, so they can kind of fine tune before they come to market. We started this process uh, about 18 months, two years ago with O2 Litmus. Now we want to kind of make that a global community across the whole Telefonica footprint. So one of the ways we encourage developers to use Bluevia is to attend and support events like Warble Camp. Warble Camp was an event that myself, Jonathan Markwell and a bunch of others organised. It was held in London at The Guardian. It was an event to bring together Twitter developers so that they could share ideas and eventually do a 24-hour hack over the, overnight. O2 Litmus helped us uh, create it and they helped uh, sponsor it and also set up a challenge for the best mobile hack and the use of the Hashblue API, and it was a great success. Wobble Camp's a great place to go meet new people, share ideas, learn new technologies. My hack was SMSL, which was a project I put together overnight using the Hashblue APIs in Twitter. So if I send a SMS to a mate and I include the Hashal tag in the message, it gets sent to him by SMS, but it also gets published to my Twitter stream for my public followers to, to see. The reason the hash blue is called hash blue is because we thought of combining peer-to-peer -peer texting with Twitter through the use of hashtags. We were really pleased when Adam did exactly that through SMSL. So with O2 opening up its APIs like this, it's really amazing. 
Ash Blue is an example of the kind of innovation that we'll bring through Blue Via Labs. But what's really important to make the lab successful is the uh, collaboration and co-creation with developers. We've been really pleased with the initial reaction to Bluevia and we're working really hard to extend to more countries, offer more APIs, but we're not satisfied with just that alone. We really want to innovate at internet speed. This is where Bluevia Labs comes in. We want to offer early access to new ideas, new services, get developer feedback and, and really focus on the things that are important to them.